Hi guys, it's Isa and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to do my favorite TBR. From now onwards, I'm going to be changing a little bit my TBRs or what I'm going to read this month and I'm going to be structuring in different buckets. The first one, I want to make sure that I allow some time for reading new releases, so hopefully this will be useful for you. The second one is that I also want to have some time to finish new series or to continue with new series because otherwise the list is so long. And the third one is just to start new series and as I am a little bit of a mood reader this month for February, I'm going to be theming it a little bit with romance. So fantasy romance are going to be definitely in the list. This month I'm going to make things easier for me as it is a shorter month, I'm just going to aim for eight books, which I think it's very feasible. Starting with the new releases that I'm aiming to read this month, we'll start with Only Monsters. This is a new young adult fantasy series and it follows the story of this girl that upon summer she decides to go to her family house kind of in the outskirts of this town. And although she thinks that this is going to be just, you know, like normal summer, things turn out very different because their family seems to be monsters. They're going to be werewolves, they're going to be demons, things like that. And of course, she will be friends and maybe more with this guy that is killing and hunting monsters. So this book promises a lot of fun. I'm so in for the paranormal setting. It's supposed to be a very plot-driven story and I'm thinking this will be a little bit of an enemies to lovers kind of story. The second new release of this February and this is actually a sequel that I'm highly, highly excited about. We have the second one in the Crescent City series by Sarah J Maas, House of Sky and Breath. It's a paranormal, urban, fantasy, adult story, all of that and it will follow the main book, our main girl, Bryce. She is half human, half a fae, and she will need to cope with the death of someone that she really cares about. And without really knowing how, she will be involved in this crime investigation and other murders that happen. And while doing so, she will be meeting this angel. Between the two, we will be discovering this massive world. It reads almost as a thriller. Then moving to the new series that I'm hoping to start this month, I will have four <laughs> of them are kind of themed in this romance element. All of them are fantasy romances. The first one will have The Awakening, which is the first book in the, the Zodiac Academy series. And this will follow these twin sisters that are born under the Gemini month. And they are kind of a rare breed because they can harness the four elements of magic, fire, air, water and air. However, this makes them really unpopular when reaching this academy because it seems that people can only harness one of these elements which place them into a direct enemy line of the heirs of these different elements which of course are the hottest of the academy and also the most savage. This book was really recommended by a lot of people so I'm really hoping this reads really fast and that I'm engaged all of it. The second one is Prison Healer and we will be following our main girl who has been living the majority of her life in this prison acting as a prison healer and what is her surprise when at some point the queen arrives to this prison as a prisoner. She is very 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 ill and although she was supposed to pass a set of trials of elemental trials that are the ones that are like the worst punishment she doesn't seem to be able to do that so our girl will volunteer to do these tournaments for her sake so she is in this position of giving her life just to keep the queen alive and ensuring this revolution might happen. I do love this tournament trope and also how the different tournaments is going to be related to elemental magic so I do think this is going to be right down my alley. The third one and I'm really really excited about this because I'm body reading it with Jess from Honest Fiction is CD of Thorns. I will link her channel down below because she is amazing and we will be following our main girl who is in this dungeon. It seems that a sexy demon will call upon her, confusing her for her sexy doppelganger. But when realizing that she is human, they make a truce. She will help this demon to obtain his revenge and she will be allowed to remain in this city of thorns, seeking also her vengeance because 
it seems that her mom has been killed. Problem is, she is suspecting this demon to be the main suspect. I think this is a little bit of a more noodle, so it's supposed to be a little bit more spicy. And the fourth one, and the last one of new series that I'm opening this month, we have Rhapsodic, which is the first one in the Bargainer series. We will have our main girl, who is a siren. It seems that she has asked for a lot of favors in the past, and those favors are, you know, placed now into her wrist and she will need to either die or pay for all of these favors in order to be free. But she has never been called upon any of those favors until one night it seems that this bargainer comes into place. It seems that there is a massive evil emerging in this land and between the two they will need to stop it. It seems that the world building for this book is very interesting, very different and I've heard very good things in the past. It seems to be perfect for the lovers of Kumbulanash and also Sarah J Maas. So I think it fits my goals for February. And then with the final section, continuing with ongoing series, I will include a little bit of adult fantasy because I also want to have these in-between reads. The first one I'm planning to end the winnowing flight, reading the last one, The Poison Song. It's a multi-perspective story as they live in this land where it seems that every now and then different wars happen. The problem is that no one remembers out of now why these wars are happening or who are the enemies because the ones that were in charge of fighting these wars are all dead and of course it seems that there's a new war that might be coming we will be following the witch we will be following this kind of elf kind of vampire and also this human that is kind of a very adventurous the first book i acknowledge it's a little bit confusing because you as a reader discovers what's happening at the same pace as the characters but book two was really a five-star read and i'm hoping this conclusion to you know just also be a five star and the last sequel that i'm inputting this month is finale which is the third and conclusion of the caraval series the first one talks about these two sisters that live in a very bad situation and they really want to run away and it seems that every now and then there's this kind of magical circus going on called Carol. Upon arriving one of the sisters gets kidnapped and from that point onwards the whole game quest of the thing story will consist on finding this sister and so we will be following this main girl as she follows different clues. The first one had a lot of longing. It has a little bit of an enemies to lover trope, which I loved and really I did love the main male character. So I'm really hoping to conclude these two series for February. And that was it for today. I really hope you like this TBR. Let me know down below what are you going to be reading. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this one, consider to subscribe to the channel. And I really hope to see you real soon in another video. Bye-bye!